To be able to improve the returns back to the people we farm for, we have embraced controlled traffic farming, which is something I did on my Nuffield scholarship tour around the world, where I came back and found that there's a potential to increase our yields by 18% uh, by placing our wheelings in the same place each time year after year. To be able to also maximise on that, we have gone to two rubber track crawlers to do the, the main cultivations and drilling. We use a Bateman 36 metre sprayer. The wheels go out to fit in the same wheelings as the combines and the challengers. We're running on a 12 metre system where we have a two 12 metre combines and a 12 metre drill. And with that drill, we are also putting phosphate and DAP, which is nitrogen and phosphate, down the spout, drill just below the seed. We can minimise on the amount of phosphate that we're spreading on the top but maximise on what the plant gets by putting the phosphate in the right place for that seed that year. A part of my uh, trip around the world on my Nuffield I came across in, in Western Australia the technology where we effectively take the yield maps by producing a graph we can determine exactly what nutrients came off per hectare and then we can then translate that and the spreader will then put back exactly what was the off-take was that year. We've mapped every single field and we've set ourselves up an 11.9 metre system. So we have a little bit of tolerance on the 12 metre. Every implement and every machine will drive every 12 metres. And doing that, those wheels are then placed exactly where we want them. And what we found this harvest was with the first year, we've got it all to work in sync. The second combine could come up the next land with only two centimetres of tolerance and it would combine perfectly. So we've now got every machine to work together.